Hey guys, Carly here with Reprint Wraps. Um, I'm gonna teach you a quick little tip right now about how to bring a photo into Adobe Illustrator and scale it so you can start designing a vehicle wrap on it. So, as you see, I got the photo already in my program. I just dragged and dropped it in. Um, I had already taken it into Photoshop and kind of just cropped it and leveled it out. You want it, what's really important here is that you wanna make sure the body lines are straight. Um, see where I drew this line? You, I'm gonna go ahead and put a color on it. You can see that it's kind of even here with this body line on the truck, the bottom of the trucks, pretty straight. So I just already took the photo, cropped and leveled it out. So next step, I just you know drag this photo in so it's definitely not to scale. Um, so I'm gonna go in and well first what I did is I went outside and I took a measuring tape and I physically measured this vehicle. So I just grabbed a couple measurements. Um, I grabbed the door. So when I measured, I measured from here to here, straight across, where I just drew my box. Um, and I got the measurement 48.25 inches. So, and then for the height of the truck, I actually measured from here all the way to here, down in the bottom. So I kind of just drew a nice little rectangle square thing around the area that I measured. So now to scale it, I'm gonna go ahead and select the box and the image, and I'm gonna right click on my mouse, I'm gonna go make clipping mask. So up here at the top of the page, it's saying, oh well, it's pretty close to the actual scale. 48, or well, I'm at a, I like to do things at a 10% um, scale, so then the file is not super large, and then my artboard doesn't get full. So it's like right now it's 4.8, 148 by 5.5 one and that's not so when if I go to scale it to select the box I'm gonna go ahead and lock it to start but do 40 so my measurement was 48.25 so I'm gonna go 4.8 you just move the decimal point one place to get a 10% scale so instead of 48 it's 4.8 but 25 so 25 after so now it's gonna scale it to that and then the height right now it's saying is 55 and the reason it says that is because a vehicle is curved it's not a complete flat surface like a box truck or something else you might be wrapping so um, I normally go and change I unlock um, my measurement link and I'm going to go ahead and change that to 5.959 because I know that's what it is um, there's still like a little bit of wrap around the top like about an inch or two so, but just so we get um, the vehicle kind of scaled to more accurate to what I'm going to be designing. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit release clipping mask. And there we go. So it's, it warped the image a little bit. As you can tell, it looks a little tall and funny, but it'll help you get um, a better idea of the vehicle and the size. So this isn't the most accurate way. Um, for example, I measured the bedside on the truck from the bedside to the tail light, which I got the measurement of 62 and a half inches. So I got this rectangle and it's saying it's actually 60.2 inches long, which I know is not correct because I took the physical measurement, but um, it's just best when you get the physical measurements when you're so when you're designing you know what your range is so at least I know if I keep it in this area like certain texts and stuff it's not going to get cut off by the tail light um, so there you go that's how you do it and then my next step I usually lock my layer down here on the bottom right create a new layer and then I will start tracing my vehicle so I just start with the pen tool over where's my pen tool I literally just had it oh, up here at the top top left pin tool click that start making my points start tracing the vehicle to the outside you know just take some time I mean you can make it as good and detailed as you want it I mean if you're in a hurry and you kind of just need to get the outline of the truck to make sure something's gonna fit the designs not too detailed then you might just start clicking like this and getting a little sloppy and trace the vehicle opposed to like really caring what you're doing but if you're gonna be showing to a customer and you want it to look nice then go ahead and 
So this side of the vehicle looks really nice, but on this other side, it got a little sloppy. Um, well, I know you guys don't want to see me trace the whole thing. It's going to take a little bit of time. But um, another quick tip. So like I got the outside of the vehicle. Uh, now I want us to track the windows because we're not going to be wrapping that. I'm just going to kind of show you how you do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trace the area that I don't want next. So I normally do the outside of the vehicle. I'm going to say I just don't want this back, our back window. And then I'm going to turn them both like this um, to fills. And I'm going to go ahead and select the window just so you can see and change it to a different color. So I want to subtract that window from this object. So I'm going to go ahead and on my right side of um, my workspace, I have my Pathfinder tool, which I use very often. Um, if you can't find it, you're going to go to Window and go down to Pathfinder, and it'll pop up the little Pathfinder window for you, and you can do this. So if I go over here to the right side, and so there's Unite is the first one. The next one is Minus Front. So I want to subtract this object from the back object. So I'm going to select both objects, and I'm going to go hit Minus Front. Boom. Now the window's gone. So um, there's the basics on getting started on making a template from an image. If you don't happen to have templates, um, this is the way I started designing vehicle wraps because we didn't have templates. Um, and then now that I have access to templates, I just use them because, but it's always best to get physical measurements. You just always want to be safe. Even when I'm using a template, I will make, if the vehicle's available, I'll measure it just to make sure things are going to fit the right way and when I'm outputting the wrap for print it has enough bleed. Alright well that's all I got for you today. Have a good one.